Do you have big kids in your life who struggle to read multi-syllable words? Well, there's a strategy for that. This strategy works best when students have a strong knowledge of syllable types, affixes, and they understand accent and schwa. Let's start with this word, unpredictable. The first step to reading a big word is to spot and dot the vowels to identify the number of syllables. We don't dot a silent E usually, but in this word, we know that a consonant LE is a syllable type with a vowel sound, so we'll dot the vowel as a syllable. Step two has us box any suffixes we know. Able is a suffix that means able to be. Step three has us circle any prefixes we know. And in this word, we know that un means not, and the prefix pre means before. Step four has us predict vowel sounds based on syllable types. The syllable that's left unmarked is D-I-C-T, a closed syllable with a short vowel sound. So we will pronounce it dict. Step five is to scoop under each word part and read un pre dict able, unpredictable. Wait, that's not right. Step six would have us flex the vowel sound in the suffix able to able and blend the word parts again. Unpredictable. That's a word we know. Okay, that went pretty fast. Let's go over those steps again. Step one is to spot and dot the vowels, except of course the silent E. Next, box any suffixes you know. Circle any prefixes you know. Step five has us scoop the word parts from left to right and blend them together to read the word. And finally, step six would have us flex the vowel sound to make it a sound that makes sense in the word. Like in unpredictable, we flex the long A to a schwa a uh sound to make it a word we do know. Thank you for watching this patent snippet on reading big words. We hope you've enjoyed it and now go read those big words.